Hey, it's Celebrate Truth. I'm Robbie Davidson. We're back for another video. This time we're getting into the continued agenda of transgenderism. It is everywhere. If you look uh, in movies, Hollywood, it seems like there is a massive push. It's been the recent amount of investigation, trans investigation, as some people would like to call it, into a lot of people looking at Adam's apples, looking at finger indexes as far as middle finger uh there's a bunch of stuff whether it's hips different things like this and there's a lot of people that are masking themselves in my opinion um you know that are transgendered and it's kind of part of the entire agenda to get it more accepted also to get men lusting after other men uh, and the very fact that we see this in the bible this is you know part of satan's agenda it's not just the fact of having it in faces all the time also the agenda is very subtle. So, I mean, how gratifying is it that Satan can get men unknowingly lusting for other men, not knowing it, but we're seeing a lot of evidence come forward now with a lot of the different characters that have, uh, you know, whether they come off as women, then they in fact men. You're seeing this all throughout Hollywood. This is getting really serious. And again, it doesn't seem like people are really standing up. I'm sure we see videos. A lot of things but this is a complete assault on creation this is an assault on god's character when it comes to male and female as he created them when it comes to the family unit as far as mothers and fathers it's one thing when all of a sudden there's a single parent family and child has a mother or only has a father but now when you're starting to say that fathers can be mothers and mothers can be fathers this is crazy this one Brand new from Dove. Now, Dove's been notorious for bringing out commercials and breaking down racial stereotypes, which is wonderful, which is great. Um, and again, there's a lot of different things, you know, whether it's body type when it comes to defining beauty for women. So Dove has been doing, you know, a lot of great things overall. But this is where the subtlety comes into it when they start doing great things, humanitarian work. But then all of a sudden moving into the transgendered, uh, you know, agenda. And this is what we're seeing time and time again. We're seeing infiltration on every front. We're seeing in sports. We're seeing now they're moving into girls, you know, uh, sport teams and, you know, track and field. And, you know, they're winning. And everyone's like, oh, this is wonderful. Oh, it's so great. You're so brave coming out. And it's like one by one, all these men are going to dominate all the women's teams. And I don't really see the feminists you know, saying, wait a minute, this is not right. I mean, you see a couple here and there, but overall, there should be an outcry, you know, when it comes down to fairness, when it comes to, you know, sports for one thing. And I really think that uh, if you have the majority of men competing in pretty much any sport uh, that you know of, just watch the Olympics. Next time you watch the Olympics, then watch gymnastics. Watch the women's gymnastics. Then afterwards, watch the men's gymnastics. That goes for pretty much any sport when it comes to being athletic but again everyone's equal we have to have all this inclusion but then now we have to have insanity where we're going to actually say oh you know what yeah that man thinks he's a woman come on in it's okay come on on to this girls only team and yeah sure enough you can compete and again when it comes to solo sports one by one they're dominating with everything whether it's track and field uh again we have a major problem moving in and no one seems to be stopping it. no one seems to be crying out and saying this is garbage but again, we have Dove, okay? We have Dove now moving into this, now redefining what a mother is. And again, this is really, really important because again, this is taking away dignity, this is taking away the biological fact. And again, I'll just read here a bit, but this just in. Dove recently ran a commercial in which the transgendered mom is a baby's biological father who identifies as the mother. And you can see how this is moving in, right? Companies promoting liberal agendas that are not new, right? Starbucks promoting gay marriage, hiring refugees, the various clothing outlets banning Trump's clothing lines. You know, I can't say I'm surprised at this. But this is definitely a new low for companies. Promoting a mental disorder is absolute insanity. And if you ask any credible doctor or psychologist, they will tell you that transgenderism is, in fact, a mental disorder. And really, if you look back at even the DSM, not even that far above far back, it was definitely considered a mental disorder. Now, this is exactly what's going on. These are people that are troubled. They're sick. 
they definitely need help. They don't need to be congratulated. It's all as insane as if you believe that you're hearing voices, the voices are telling you all sorts of nonsense for society to say, that's wonderful. You know, that's real. And, you know, all of this sort of thing. And all throughout time, we've always been helping, you know, the healing. And you can look into all the damage that this has been doing. But again, we're moving into absolute mental disorder. And let's congratulate it. Let's applaud it. Let's celebrate it. And this is continually what you see. But again, the entire gay agenda itself moved in. And now anything's permissible. You know, it doesn't really matter what you believe, what you are attracted to, everything under the banner of love. And that's the most dangerous because, again, they're masquerading and saying, oh, it's love. It's love. Really, it's love to rip apart the entire definition historically of what a mother is, who a mother is, being a woman, not a man. Let's watch this dope. Let's watch this dove commercial and uh, we'll go from there. Everybody has ideas about what it means to be a good mom. And most people feel like they have a license to tell you <laughs> what they think it means to be a good mom. Yeah, because it's biological and you're a woman. And that means you're a mom. Right. I'm a first time mom and I'm just figuring it out as I go. Oftentimes a grandma, uncles, you know, great grandmas, they want you to do it their way. But I have to be that woman that stands her ground. Can I have your bucket so I can put some drinks? What we do here is unconventional because he's at the barn with us all the time. Hi guys. So they're starting with just women talking about being mothers. We're showing him something unique. Everybody out. Oh. As biological parents, you get people that are like, what do you mean you're the mom? We're like, yeah, <laughs> we're both going to be moms. We're both going to be moms. <laughs> there we go. Right. So we've got the father actually saying, no, I identify as a woman. Therefore, I'm the mother. No, I'm sorry. I'm not. And again, you've got a mental disorder. You believe that you're a woman. You're a man. Look at you. You're a man. And anybody really is looking into this, honestly, you know, it's one thing. Do you have the freedom to believe that? Sure. But why in the world is society? Why are we congratulating? Why are we accepting this? Why are we approving of this? And now moving towards actually re-identifying. Again, there should be, you know, treatment. There should be help that these people are given. But no, we are moving towards just embracing it, helping them, you know, become a better woman. When in fact, this guy is a man, dude, you're the father, you definitely are not the mother. I live to be the best version of myself that I can be. And part of that is being her mom. Who's that? Dada. But I live to dance. I can do my art and not be any less of a mom. I'm raising him on my own. I'm happy where I am. <laughs> and I get to make my parenting decisions on my own. There's so many ways to be a mom. I don't think I could be the mom that I want to be without climbing in my life. It keeps me who I am and allows me to be a really good mom to Anna. There's no one right way to do it all. You are the only expert in your kid. Believe in yourself. Believe in your ability as a woman. What you can do is what you can do. Do what so there you go, right? Believe in yourself. Another satanic philosophy, you know, believe in yourself, follow your heart. Again, the Bible says, don't follow your heart, right? It's deceitful above all things, Jeremiah. Again, we're seeing constant bombardment of the entire satanic agenda. And again, Alex de Crowley way back was talking about re identifying it and accepting and embracing, you know, all forms of sexuality. But again, it started off as the sexual revolution. Right. This is what we saw. And everyone's like, oh, it's free love and sex and drugs and rock and roll. And, you know, it's no big deal. Right. The hippie movement. So then it moved in. Then we got into the whole homosexual thing where it was embraced of men and women and women. And stuff. Now we're moving into a very interesting time where you really don't see much of it anymore. I mean, it's just normal now. You know, with, you see a homosexual, you know, in every single TV show. Try to think of a TV show that you've watched in the last couple of years, and I'm talking mainstream television show, that didn't have a gay couple in it. I mean, it's everywhere you look, they have to actually push it in there because they're gonna get in trouble if they don't. Um, sorry, but I really don't see any religions identified. I don't see a Christian couple in there. You know, there's a lot of people out there, I'm sure, that aren't represented. But again, you see this constant small, very, very small minority 
uh, with such massive power, you know, redefining everything that we see. Moving into the transgendered, which is one of the smallest fractions of a fraction of a percent of a group of people that seem to have the most power I've ever seen. They can redefine washrooms. They can redefine gender roles. They can redefine, you know, now we're getting into redefining what a male and what a female is. It's not good enough just to say, hey, I want to dress like a woman. I'm a man. Or I'm a man and I want to dress like a woman. No, I'm a man. I believe I'm a woman. Therefore, I'm a woman. Insanity. Mental illness. I totally 100% agree. And again, we need to stop embracing and accepting this. We need to stand for this. Just like that. And again, this is saying boycott Dove, man. Don't be buying Dove. Don't let them know. You know, maybe if anything, I mean, if you have Dove soap right now, you know, you know, just put it down the drain, you know, just wash it out because this is, this is really disgusting stuff. And again, we can make our voice known when it comes to the bottom line, especially with corporate. So it's one thing when you're getting into Hollywood, but again, that's another thing, right? If you're going to the movies and supporting all these movies, again, you're just making it, you know, a lot stronger for them to continue doing these things. But I'm telling you right now, we can make a mark by having your voice heard and saying, no, stop buying Dove, look at the company, you know, and say, no, we, you know, it's one thing, you know, if you're a person, you identify, you believe in certain things, but if you honestly are okay with this, yes, you know, keep buying your soap, your Dove soap or whatever, your Dove products. But I'm, I'm for one, you know, am completely disgusted by them basically now redefining everything saying, no, it doesn't matter. It's what you make it. You know, I'm a man. I believe I'm a woman. Therefore, I'm a mother. I'm going to be a great mother. And we just sit there and go, oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, so beautiful. That man believes he's a woman. And I'm just going to call him by her name and them and they. And uh, excuse me, uh, what gender are you? Oh, I'm not even a gender at all. I'm an if. Oh, I I'm a blank. Uh, I don't want to even be redefined. Again, these are people mentally challenged let's call it for what it is they are not well just like a person that believes they're a dog i'm sorry if you're watching this video right now and you say yes then therefore they're a dog please unsubscribe leave you know if you don't like what i'm saying and it's making you angry because again this is for the people that at least at this point of this complete agenda this incredible assault that is taking place you're still at the point that if you believe with all your might that you're a greyhound dog no matter how much you believe it you can never make it true if you're one of those people that actually say no there is no possible way you can become a greyhound dog if you are a human then please look into these things fight the system make your voice known your pocketbook stop supporting companies that completely shove this crap down your throat and tell you stuff that is completely not true it is not true by any standard and if someone is going to say it's true rather than just feelings i feel therefore i am this is not basis for reality we at celebrate truth all of us that are here that enjoy this channel are big on exposing the world's lies and celebrating truth and there's many ways shapes and forms that that comes but one Let's celebrate the truth, the fact that biologically there are males and there are females. That identifies and is part and the staple of society. It's a bedrock, everything when it comes down to the family unit. And there is a reason that Alex de Crowley, when he was laying out the entire agenda, when you get into uh, hey with his the homosexual agenda way back and how he knew that it was this was going to infiltrate society, he said that the family was public enemy number one, the church was second, but he identified the family being the first thing that had to be torn down. It had to be, you know, all these things had to be torn down, but the family unit, we had to completely redefine it. We had to pervert it, change it, twist it, make anything acceptable for society. And this is what we're seeing. This is what we're seeing. What are we gonna see in the like five, 10 years from now? I'm not sure, but it's getting so incredibly ridiculous and crazy. And it's almost sad that most of the world are just embracing this and saying, oh, this is so beautiful. Look at that man. What amazing mother he, she, it, they, I don't even know what to say is, but 
It's under love. So therefore, it's true. Come on, guys. Let's really, really stop, you know, supporting these things. Keep exposing the world's lies. Celebrate truth. Blessings. Till next time. Complete assault on creation. This is assault on God's character when it comes to male and female as he created them. When it comes to the family unit, as far as mothers and fathers, it's one thing when all of a sudden there's a single parent family and child has a mother or only has a father. But now when you're starting to say that fathers can be mothers and mothers can be father, other men, not knowing it, but we're seeing a lot of evidence come forward now with a lot of different characters that have, uh, you know, whether they come off as women, then they come back men, you're seeing this all throughout Hollywood. This is getting really serious. And again, it doesn't seem like people are really standing up. I'm sure we see videos, a lot of things, but this is an, part of the entire agenda to get it more accepted, also to get men lusting after other men. Uh, the very fact that we see this in the Bible, this is, you know, part of Satan's agenda is not just the fact of having it in your faces all the time. Also, the agenda is very subtle. So, I mean, how gratifying is it that Satan can get men unknowingly lusting? There's just been a recent amount of investigation, trans investigation, as some people would like to call it, into a lot of people looking at Adam's apples, looking at finger indexes as far as middle finger. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff, whether it's hips, different things like this. And there's a lot of people that are masking themselves, in my opinion, um, you know, that are transgendered and it's kind of part Hey, it's Celebrate Truth. I'm Robbie Davidson. We're back for another video. This time we're getting into the continued agenda of transgenderism. It is everywhere. If you look uh, in movies, Hollywood, it seems like there is a massive push.